Earlier this year, President Trump attempted to implement a travel ban from countries with ties to terrorism. Of course, the left promptly jumped on this logical policy that would protect Americans and turned it into a liberal fiasco. The left claimed that this policy was a Muslim ban and it had nothing to do with terrorism and proceeded to block the ban every way they could. Now, Trump has announced a new change in the hotly contested travel ban that will not only piss off liberals but Muslims as well. The left claimed that this policy was a Muslim ban and that it had nothing to do with terrorism and proceeded to block the ban every way they could. Now, Trump has announced a new change in the hotly contested travel ban that will not only piss off liberals but Muslims as well. Now, Trump has announced a new change in the hotly contested travel ban that will not only piss off liberals but Muslims as well. Over the last several months we have witnessed an increase of terrorist attacks across Europe. Instead of the leaders of these countries closing their borders to protect their citizens, they continue to allow refugees flood in. Not only are they not protecting their borders, but they are also afraid to say that radical Islam is the cause for these violent attacks. Because of this insanity, innocent people continue to lose their lives in the name of political correctness. So, when another terrorist attack took place in London, President Trump decided to tweak his travel ban. Trump stated that in light of the recent attack he would broaden and make the ban tougher than it already was. Currently, the travel ban contains a short list of countries that are linked to terrorism, and it also bars refugees from entering the country. Though in light of the recent terror attack in London, Trump is ready to up the ante. On Friday, President Trump tweeted, The travel ban into the United States should be far larger, tougher and more specific, but stupidly, that would not be politically correct. Here is more from The Hill. President Trump on Friday advocated for a larger, tougher and more specific travel ban in response to a bomb explosion in London's subway system. Trump in a string of tweets called the bombing an attack by a loser terrorist and suggested British authorities did not do enough to prevent it. Another attack in London by a loser terrorist, he tweeted. These are sick and demented people who were in the sights of Scotland Yard. Must be proactive. Trump then sent another message about the ban writing the travel ban into the United States should be far larger, tougher and more specific but stupidly, that would not be politically correct. A device exploded on a rush hour train in southwest London early Friday, injuring at least 23 people. Police are treating the incident as a terrorist attack. They have identified a suspect, but have not released a name. The explosion at the Parsons Green Underground Station is the latest in a series of terror attacks that have shaken Great Britain this year. It's a terrible thing, Trump told reporters at the White House later Friday. It keeps going and going, and we have to be very smart and we have to be very, very tough, perhaps we're not nearly tough enough. Trump's response angered British authorities, since he appeared to reveal certain information about the attack before they did. I never think it is helpful for anyone to speculate in what is an ongoing investigation, British Prime Minister Theresa May told reporters in London when asked about the president's comments. In Washington, Trump said he had been briefed on the attack and planned to call May later Friday. The president's pointed comments could be geared toward his supporters, many of whom are angry with his efforts to strike an immigration deal with Democrats. Let's walk this back for a moment and discuss it, shall we? Over the last several months, Europe has been attacked numerous times and they all have one thing in common. The attacker is a radical Muslim that can be tied to being a refugee or someone who has recently traveled to a terrorist country and was radicalized. Seriously, this is not that hard to figure out, but leave it to the left to twist the facts. There is no reason at all that President Trump should not be able to have this ban pass through, especially since travel bans have taken place in our country before. During World War II, President Roosevelt issued his own travel ban in order to protect the country after being bombed by the Japanese. In fact, Barack Obama invoked his own travel ban 19 times, Bill Clinton, 12 times, George W. Bush 6 times and Ronald Reagan 5 times. George H. W. Bush invoked it once. So, what is the real issue here? The left desires chaos and confusion in order to implement their push to destroy America. That is easily done by pushing for open borders, refugees, and dividing Americans into separate factions to create more chaos. There is not one issue with implementing a travel ban on people coming from known terrorist countries. It is now the time for us to protect our country which means closing our borders in order to assess who is entering. After eight years of Obama allowing anyone and everyone to enter there is a huge mess to clean up and this is one way to get us back on track.